Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Bar None 11970. Thank you, as always, for taking the time to check out this video. The one thing that I've come to realize with... It's, it's hard to explain this. Watch it. When you start understanding what's really going on, when you see the bigger picture, when you pay attention to more than just the now, you start to see what's really going on in this world. And just even something as simple as basics of things we take for granted, like time. Time is only relevant to where you are. I mean, if you see how time is regulated, it's based on rotation of the planet, that gives 24 hours. You have rotation of the Earth going around, a full rotation around the sun. That's a year. And all the times in between. If you were living outside of the Earth, if you lived on Mars, or you took a spaceship and went out a light year away, how is that time similar to where you are at this moment. So when people start to think a little bit deeper than what's the latest television show and who is the next superstar you have to pay attention to and you start focusing on reality or reality, you start to see the bigger picture of things. And I've made several videos about how the fact that everything's made of light, it's all about energy, it all has to do with magnetism, all holding it together. And when you start thinking differently and start using your brain in ways more than just to regurgitate what somebody else has educated you with, you start to see the bigger picture. So right there, if you just think of the concept of time, time is only relevant on the planet that you're on. Because if it's based on the spin of the Earth, and the rotation around the sun, well, if you're anywhere else in the galaxy, the universe, or where have you, then that time is not similar. That's why they say things like time is not constant. It's all relative. Basically, where you are. Where are you? Well, if you see the whole concept of the fact that everything's made of atoms, which are made of light, and everything is made of the same thing, then we're everywhere and nowhere all at the same time. Now, what am I talking about um, earlier when I talk about messages? I've said in so many videos and I've shown so many examples that there are people who are smarter than the average person and they have a thing called the Hippocratical Oath where they're supposed to tell you what's going on. Now, they do it in a way that most people either don't pay attention to, don't care about, don't believe, or don't understand. But that doesn't mean the message isn't being sent out. It's like if you only spoke English and somebody was trying to warn you in Russian that your house is on fire, well, you could sit there and say, I don't believe that person or I don't understand them. It doesn't mean that it doesn't change. They were trying to tell you a message. You just didn't get it or you didn't care enough to get it. But the message is still being sent. And if you listen to music, television programming, movies, you'll see that there's a message that the smarter people, the people that, pay, well, I can't say smarter, the people that pay attention. It's like having a signal. A radio only works if you turn it on. A TV will only show the picture of the signal that you have switched to. In other words, channel two, channel four, channel five, channel 500. All the others are all around you. You're only focusing on that one particular moment. So when you think of movies like Frankenstein, Terminator, Time is Not Set, Prometheus, Planet of the Apes, Disney's Ants, Guardians of the Galaxy, Jurassic World, the new movies, Tomorrowland, old movies like Labyrinth and the Dark Crystal, and so many others. There's a similar message that they're trying to show especially when it comes to time. Time is not set in the way that you're told. 
And I've said over and over again how belief is irrelevant. It doesn't matter if you don't believe this is a pen. It still is a pen. Whether you believe it or not does not change what it is. It may change your perception of what it is, but it doesn't change what it is. So belief is a form of control because whether you believe this is a pen or you don't believe it's a pen, you don't know. So they're able to control you because if they convince you that this is a duck and they show convincing enough evidence to prove to you that this is a duck, well, that's going to be your belief system. And as crazy as that might sound, it's not as crazy as you when you look at the whole big picture. Because didn't they, for thousands of years, convince mankind that the earth was flat? Now we're convinced that the earth is round. Well, let me ask you this. Which one is real based on your truth? Now, most people will sit there and just criticize or react to that statement. And they'll say, well, it's obvious the earth is round. Well, let me ask you this. How many of you have gone off the planet to verify that statement to be true? Now, I'm not saying the earth is flat. and I'm not saying the earth is round. What I'm saying is I don't know because I've never gone off the planet to verify and be able to see it for myself. Every bit of information that I've been programmed to has been told to me. It's just like a computer. A computer will only regurgitate what you program it to do. Same thing with a robot. A robot will only do what it's programmed to do. We're no different. The beautiful thing about free will is you can decide to do anything, including the wrong thing or nothing. So there will be people, no matter what I say, they are programming themselves to believe that somebody like me is crazy, even though there are many things I can show that are verifiable. Because that's their belief system. And in a universe that's made of magnetism and light and energy, there is no truth, there is no lie, it's all a perception. You create what your belief system is. And the way they control you is by manipulating you, by showing you an image and saying, this is reality. And you believe that is your only destiny. So you manifest what you believe in. In other words, they get you to volunteer your servitude and you, via your free will, create the very world that you don't want. Because seeing is believing, isn't it? And I've shown this example before. Since there is no concept of time, and there is time is nothing more than relativity to where you are. And when you see it from a bigger scale, since you're made of light, and light is everywhere, you are everywhere. You just can't understand that or comprehend that. But if we take it in relative terms, changing the future is nothing more than not doing something or doing something about it. So if they are telling you your future, let's say a future of destroyed planet, that the Earth is going to blow up because of the Illuminati and all these creatures or space aliens or whatever. If they convince you to believe that there's nothing you can do to fix it, well then you're creating the very thing that you don't want. Because your belief system has been programmed and your free will has chosen to accept what they say to be true and inevitable. That's why they talk about things like destiny and things like the Bible that says you are geared towards destruction. Well, then if you, that's what you believe, you'll do nothing to change it. So you inevitably create the very thing that they said would happen. So let's take metaphorically the world being destroyed as me dropping this pen. And I've used this example before. When I let go of this pen, the future of this pen is to fall and hit the bottom surface, which is the table. So if I let it go, and I've done nothing, well, it did just that. But if I want to change the future, because time is relative and only to where you are, if I want to change it to a different timeline and change the destiny of this pen, 
I stop it in midair. I keep it from hitting the ground. Now, what was supposed to be inevitable never happened. Why? Because I did something about it. There is a reason why when you watch the television, you are bombarded with negativity, fear, horror, things that keep you grounded. Why do you think when you are, when you get it, you're enlightened, you're in, on, on cloud nine, you're floating on air? See the difference? They want you here, grounded. They want you scared. They want you to believe in their story. They're showing you one of an endless possibility. It's like being, it's like telling you that Channel 2 is the only station out there. And whatever they put on Channel 2, whatever you're watching, is the truth. Well, if that's all you know, then that is your truth. You just don't realize that you could switch channels. There's an infinite amount of truths. So the people that will call me crazy, their belief system, that becomes their truth. That doesn't mean that's what I am. It means that's what they perceive their truth to be. And unless they change their mindset, it will always be that truth. But what they do not understand is it does not help them to grow because they're not listening. And they will forever be told that they cannot do anything to change destiny because after all, it does require work and it's easy to do nothing. But when you do something, you stop what is supposedly been told to you and programmed to you that is inevitable. That's why if you watch movies, like I said, Labyrinth, you have no power over me. That's how she wins in the end. They talk about in Tomorrowland how the future is not set. Planet of the Apes, they talk about how we, we are changed monkeys. Prometheus, how an alien race that looks human created our species. It's almost like we were created for someone else's amusement. That's why you watch like an episode of The Simpsons, The Tree Houses of Horror, where they have the aliens showing a TV show, and it was planet Earth. The Simpsons, uh, South Park did the same thing. It's whatever you want to believe to be true. Because there is no reality. This pen only exists because the molecules that create it and the magnetism that holds it together forms a shape that your eyes perceive to be a certain thing. And if somehow we learned or understood how to manipulate it, we can understand, like the movie The Matrix, that we can bend it, not because this is a pen. There is no pen. It's just light. Time is whatever you want it to be. When you're depressed, when you're angry, when you're full of hate, when you're full of negativity, when all you want to do is hurt other people, attack other people, you will get the very things that continually allow you to do those very things. You manifest and create how you feel and what you react. That's why some people will watch this video and think it's full of garbage. There are some people who will watch it and want to wish harm on me. And there will be a few people that will say, wait a minute, these things resonate with me. This makes sense. And they are the ones that will do what it takes to change the world. There's a reason why so many people in the world are shown fear, war, horror, danger, inevitability, death, destruction, because and if enough people believe in it, it will create that realm, that reality, that channel too, and make you think there are no other channels. So if you're watching channel two, and that's the only channel that's on, that you and you don't know anything else exists, so you don't care to switch the channel, and you see that train coming towards you, and you don't change that channel, well, you're going to get hit by that train. Whose fault is that? Is it the person driving the train? Or you who didn't move out of the way? 
So when they tell you the story of Noah's Ark and the flood and all the destruction throughout history, it's the people who did not do anything and did not believe that paid the ultimate price. I mean, look at the stories throughout history. Look at Pompeii. Look at all the people that lived under an active volcano. And they said, oh, it can't happen to me. It won't happen to me. It did happen to some. Too late for them, isn't it? So when they talk about nuclear war and floods and the Illuminati and all these things of the control, it will only work if you accept it as inevitable and do nothing to change it. And that's what people in control are counting on. So the people who will come here to attack me or make fun of me on this, they're either part of the problem or they like where the world is headed. Because think about it. We have starvation on one side of the planet and we have obesity on the other side of the planet. We're told that we have gas shortages. Remember back all the way back to the 70s where we only had 3 billion people? Now we have more than double that amount. Still getting gas, aren't we? Still getting that fuel. But yet 30 some odd years ago, 40 some odd years ago, we were having shortages and we're using more than we ever had because more and more countries are becoming more technologically advanced and need that fuel. And you're telling me with the millions of barrels that we use per day that there's some kind of shortage? If all the smart people in the world decided instead of building nuclear bombs and building all these things to destroy and enslave us, if they all spent that energy to create something good, are you telling me they couldn't do it? So it's either they can't do it or they won't do it. They tell you to cure cancer by filling you with radioactivity, but yet no one would ever move to Chernobyl because the radioactivity there will kill you. But you'll pay money to inject it in your body because you've been told that's how you heal yourself. You heal yourself with poison. Does that make sense? But call it chemotherapy. You'll wait in line to get it. Reality and time is nothing more than an illusion that you create. And other people are putting the image on the screen and you're believing it and you're depressed, and you're angry, and you sit there and say, there's nothing I could do, or, oh, we should just grab our beer mugs and drink away and get drunk and party. Party till the world ends. Reality is what you make of it. So if you want to sit on your couch depressed, you want to sit on your couch saying you can't do anything, then you'll get exactly what it is that you want. If you want to spend your life making fun of and attacking the very people trying to help you, don't be surprised if your life doesn't improve. You get what you give. The universe is created with light and magnetism. You will always get what you give. It's all about knowing, not understanding anymore. And sometimes we say those things because we're just used to it. Old habits die hard. So my plea is for those very few that can hear this and think above that lower, the lowest common denominator of the people that are nothing but bitter and angry and in that lower vibration, wonder why they're not going anywhere and why they feel stagnant and sick and nothing goes right. Well, the people just stuck in that material world where money is everything. You know, like I've said before, they tell you in God we trust on your dollar bills, but you don't see anything about the God that you think it is on your bills, do you? You don't see any angels or crosses or gods or Jesus or anywhere anything else on that bill. But you'll see a pentagram. You'll see the Egyptian symbols. Think. This is a machine. This is an antenna. It is a receiver. There is more than one channel. Or you could just turn it off and wonder why you're not seeing anything. 
It's a beautiful thing when you understand the deeper meaning of what is and who you are. You are Superman. You just don't believe it or you think it's crazy. And you wonder why you can't fly. Create your own world. Make the change. Do it the right way. And you will succeed. They're counting on you to keep doing what most people are doing. And that's nothing. Or attacking or helping. It's up to you. Whatever you do with this video is up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do because it's not my job. And you already know what you're going to do regardless. I just hope some of you will listen and change your reality and change the channel. Because if you sit there watching Channel 2 and you're complaining about how much the programming sucks and how much you can't stand what's going on and you constantly watch it, you're an idiot. And there's plenty of idiots out there. They don't have to be. They just choose to be. This is Chris. This is my channel, Born on 11970. Thanks for watching. Change your future. Because there is no such thing. Peace.